Welcome to the Entrance Health Library. Although this product is designed to use during exercise, care and common sense should be used. Do not use machinery and stop immediately if you feel unsteady or unwell. You may wish to fix the daydream stare on a comfortable spot in front of you, but do not close your eyes during exercise. And as you pay attention, you can focus on anything inside or outside of your body that will help you experience yourself more deeply. And as you go further into your deeper self, you can open up even more if you wish, becoming more receptive to the thoughts and the images and the suggestions that will help you learn and develop. Whatever is the most most useful for you at this time, time. trusting that your unconscious knows what what to respond respond to to and to let the rest pass by. As As you go deeper now, you can allow your your subconscious to use use whatever amount of light trance, whatever amount of immediate trance, and whatever amount of deep trance trance you feel comfortable with. And you can appreciate that injury. What's not not always making sense sense to the logical conscious mind is very very easily understood by your unconscious mind. You are completely relaxed as you continue to let go go more and more. more. You are aware of everything and yet you are not aware. You are are listening with your subconscious mind while your conscious mind is now far away and listening or not listening. It matters not. Your conscious mind can focus on anything internal or external to you to help you experience yourself even deeper. Your subconscious mind is coming awake and now listening and hearing everything. Your conscious mind remains very relaxed and peaceful. You can continue to focus on anything or indeed drop drop into a deep sleep now. You can relax peacefully because your subconscious mind is taking charge. When this happens, you can close your eyes and let your subconscious do all the listening. Your subconscious mind knows, and because your subconscious mind knows, your conscious mind does not need to know and can stay asleep and not mind while your subconscious stays wide awake. You have much potential in your subconscious mind, which you do not have in your conscious mind. You can remember everything that has happened with your subconscious mind. You can forget so easily, and with forgetting certain things, you can remember other things. Remembering what you need to remember, and forgetting what you can forget. It does not matter if you forget. You need not remember. 
Your subconscious mind remembers everything that you need to know. And you can let your subconscious mind listen and remember while your conscious mind sleeps and forget. forget. Any problems that the mind has created can indeed be solved by the by same, same mind. You have had the solution to your problems already, whilst there are many shades of grey. Essentially, they are all either dark or light. And if you continue to listen to me with your subconscious mind, your conscious mind sleeps deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Let your conscious mind stay deeply asleep. And let your subconscious mind listen to me. This is far from being the only effective way to deal with joint and limb pain. It's just a method which we have found to be useful on a good few occasions. All right. Now you're lying or sitting there, so relaxed. I want you to just think for a few moments about that pain. Just let your mind observe it in a detached sort of way, so that it causes little discomfort. Far less discomfort than you are actually used to, in fact. And I wonder if you can now put a color to that pain. Just imagine what color that pain would be, and if it were to have a color. Is it maybe a sort of red color? Pain is often a sort of red color. Or maybe it's a bright yellow. Many people have said pain is a bright yellow color. Good. Well done. Feel the color. I bet you never thought of pain as having a color before. Now, here's something similar for you to think about. I want you to imagine what sort of color would be there if there wasn't any pain. Just let your mind think about that for a moment or two. What sort of color might be there if there was no pain? Just comfort. Just comfort where the pain used to be. What sort of color is that? Where the pain used to be? Could it be a sort of green bath? Or maybe like a blue? A lot of people see their comfort color as a sort of blue color. But perhaps you have your own healing color. Good. 
You're really good at putting colors to feelings, using your powerful creative imagination. Very clever. Now, what sort of color would we get if we mixed your pain color with a comfort color? Okay, so if we manage to get some of your pain dissolving into that healing color, it will concentrate it to be nearer the healing color, right? Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Here, you have to use your own skills to decide what's best. Imagine a lotion or a gel that can be repeatedly applied. A special bowl or a bath where healing fluid can pour from the taps. A tub of healing balm or a big tube of penetrating ointment. Whatever works best for you. So we have a huge tub of that healing gel. But just for the moment, I want you to imagine plunging your hand into that tub of gel and taking a really big handful of it. Can you feel that in your hand? Is it warm or cool? Good. Now in your mind, rub that gel gently into the affected area. Can you see it changing color? It's changing to the healing color, right? Now, you can feel the pain steadily diminishing. As the pain steadily diminishes, now notice your breathing. Notice that every breath you take, you're breathing in cool, fresh oxygen and healing energy. Imagine this oxygen and energy rather like a cool stream or a river flowing in through your nose and mouth, down into your body, relaxing and soothing you. What sort of color is that stream or river of energy? Could it be a cool, clear white perhaps? Or maybe like a cool, clear blue? A lot of people see that healing oxygen energy river color as a sort of blue color. But perhaps you have your own healing river color. Now just direct that strong healing stream off that river, rather like a farmer would channel life-giving water from a river into a certain area. Direct this flow of healing energy and oxygen to that area of your body where you have rubbed that soothing healing cream. Notice how deeply that soothing healing stream flows through this area. You'll notice how that stream just washes away any discomfort to be absorbed into the earth and far away from your body. This will continue with every breath you take after we have finished today. That's good. Now, in your mind, just rinse away that gel with the cool, clear water. Just rinsing away the pain that used to be in your body. Doesn't that feel good? Right. Now let's do all that again. Just grab another handful of that gel and gently rub it into the affected area. And now, what's happening this time? The color is changing far more slowly, right? That's because there is far less pain there now to change the color. And next time, I bet the color will hardly change at all. That's good. Now, in your mind, just rinse away that gel with the cool, clear stream of water and healing energy. Just rinsing away the pain that used to be in your body. That feels so good. Repeat this process as necessary. All the time, the stream of healing oxygen and energy flowing over and through this area in your body as you breathe. Good. 
You did that beautifully, really well. Isn't the power of the subconscious amazing once you learn how to communicate with it? Now, you will be able to do that whenever you need to. Just relax yourself as much as you can, then do exactly the same thing that we've done today. And each time you do that, the benefit will last even longer. All right, now it's time to bring the session to an end. Just knowing that that tub of healing gel is always there for you whenever you need it. And the river and the channel is now flowing continuously into your body as you go about your daily business. These ideas now make a deep impression on your creative and subconscious mind. These ideas take root in the fertile soil of your deepest being and they continue to grow and expand and permeate every part of you.